Yeah, Rand, why were you and the other analysts so shocked, and the whole market, so shocked by what we got from Target and Walmart? Yeah, I mean, I think we were all caught a bit off guard by Target's really rapid and sudden shift in their outlook. You know, it was just about two months ago when they had their investor day. It was on March 1st, and everything was relatively okay then. And fast forward two months later, and now we're talking about these big inventory write-downs, discretionary spending weakness, um, higher supply chain costs on top of last year's higher supply, ch supply chain costs. So, you know, it goes to show how fast things have quickly tur turned in the market over the past uh, past two months or so. And, and and that's causing a lot of uncertainty right now. And, and, and for Target specifically, you know, it looks like a lot of the pressures that they experienced this quarter will flow into Q2, maybe even the back half of the year. So we're expecting a pretty challenging year for Target in, in this year. That's why that's one of the reasons why we downgraded them to a hold from the buy. What, what's your target? The stock is at 157. It's giving back almost 30 percent. Is there is there an opportunity there? Is that overkill or or no? You're not touching it. You know, we cut we cut our, our price target to 165. It was 288 before, and then the big reason why is we, we slashed our EPS estimate. We're about 10 dollars in EPS now. We we were around 15 dollars, and and again, it's because of these margin pressures that we think are going to continue in the Q2 and in the back half of the year. So, Paul, some of the issues that Arun just laid out there, they apply to Target, they apply to a lot of other retailers, which is why you're seeing double-digit declines in that group today, and apply to all sorts of other companies, which is, I guess, why you're seeing the market impact. Extrapolate what this means for overall investors. Yeah, so, I mean, I, I think if Target and Walmart uh, can't keep up with the rapidly changing environment, who can? Uh, they're some of the you know, biggest retailers in the world, uh, they, and they're having these type of issues. So other companies are obviously having these types of issues. And then, I mean, as an investor, to try and make sense of it all is even just uh, as difficult. Uh, as far as the retail specifically, I mean, everything we're talking about Target is, you know, they referred to issues with the back of the store. But at the front of the store, i.e. customers, uh, things, the outlook doesn't necessarily look good. And the time for retail stocks when they do best is when the consumer looks horrible, but things can get better. Uh, right now, the consumer is in pretty good shape, uh, but you have stimulus is gone. You have inflation eating away at savings. Um, and so you, you have a, an issue where the outlook isn't going to get much better for the consumer here. And that poses risks um, you know, for the overall economy and, and the retailer specifically. Arun, but if the problem in, in a Target and a Walmart and for all the other retailers are issues like freight costs or issues like supply chain and, and even wages, all of that should be coming down. And I, I hate to use the word transitory because it's banned now. But, th but those are issues that as the Fed continues to raise rates and the economy softens, should normalize, shouldn't they? I mean, it sounds like these inflationary pressures are going to continue at least over the next several months, uh, especially after what's going on in Russia and Ukraine. Commodity prices are up. Freight is now a huge headwind for Target. They called out they're expecting about a billion dollars in incremental freight pressures this year. And, and, and a lot of these, and, and at least going over the past few years, these retailers have been able to, to pass these costs through the consumer. But I think now going forward, they're going to have a lot tougher time passing some of these costs to the consumer. Consumers are starting to push back. Inflation is starting to eat into budgets. So it, 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 that's going to have a you know, ripple effect down the stream into to packaged food companies and, and these agricultural product companies. I think going forward, it's going to be harder to pass costs through. And that's going to result in a lot of margin pressure for some retailers.